what is going on guys welcome back to bitcoin daily i am jay and today we are doing a tutorial on prime xbt it is a uh fairly new platform um that we've used before and we've had a lot of questions about it um and um it is uh you can use leverage on the platform and you can trade uh not only cryptocurrencies you could also trade forex you could trade cfds you could trade the indices you could trade um oil and gold silver stuff like that so it's a very very unique platform um that we'd like to introduce to you guys and share with you guys so uh enjoy this tutorial and uh let's get it register an account the registration process is quick and simple. Go to the registration link in the description of this video by going down, hitting show more, and clicking the link. Once you click the link, hit open free account, and that's going to take you to this page. Here, you're going to choose your credentials. It's optional to provide your phone number, then just agree to the terms and condition and hit register. Understanding the account interface. So when you first log in, this is the landing page. You'll see on the top, there's five different tabs. The tabs consist of the account, which is where you make deposits, withdrawals, change account settings, and keep track of your account's activity and statistics. The next tab is trade, also known as a trading terminal. This is a section used to monitor the market, place trades, and control your orders and positions. The next one is Turbo. Turbo is a short-term Bitcoin settling contract where you bet whether the price is going to go up or down. We'll get more into that in a bit. The next one is Co-Vesting. Co-Vesting is a strategy management and following tool. We'll also talk more about this. And then the last one is analysis. Analysis is basically charts uh, by trading view for technical analysis. So let's talk about the account section. The account section of the platform allows you to manage your account. Here you can place deposits and withdrawals, change account language, security settings, and keep track of your affiliate referral network. The account summary page is used to monitor trading history and account statistics. This page consists of four parts, the wallet, trading account, account status, trading history, and account statement button. The promo code page allows you to redeem unique promo codes and reflect information about any activated promo campaign on your account. This page consists of two parts, the promo code and activated campaign. The deposits, this reflects information about your deposits and allows you to make deposits to your wallet. The withdrawal page allows you to place or cancel withdrawals and reflects all external withdrawal history. The affiliate earnings or refer and earn page allows you and reflects information about your referral network and your payouts. Last but not least, the system, the system preferences page allows you to change system settings such as language, email notifications, 2FA, etc. Understanding the trade interface. The trade section, also known as the trade interface, is where all trading actions are performed. The trade section of the platform is used to monitor the market, place trades, control your orders, positions, and reflects detailed statistics of your trading account. Regular trading account and co-vesting fund trading account have separate independent trade terminals. The add widgets button allows you to open the widgets menu and add widgets to your workspace. Clicking on the add widgets button will bring up the widget menu. There are seven different widgets which can be added to your workspace. The trading mode button allows you to select the desired trading mode. Clicking on this button will bring up the trading mode menu. There are three trading modes. Regular trading, a new order form is brought up whenever you attempt, you attempt to place a trade. This will allow you to select addi additional parameters for your trade before sending your orders. 
Additionally, you will receive a confirmation prompt whenever sending, canceling, closing an order or position. The one-click trading allows you to control orders and positions with one click. Orders and positions will be sent, canceled, and closed immediately and without confirmation prompts. Default order type is set to market. No protection orders are attached to new orders, but can at be added manually after an order has been placed. New order quantity is defined by the quantity selector near the trade, the red or green buttons. Double click trading allows you to control orders and positions via double clicks. When double clicking, orders and positions will be sent, canceled, closed immediately and without confirmation prompts. Default order type is set to market. No protection orders are attached to new orders unless added manually after an order has been sent. New order quantity is defined by the quantity selector near the trade buttons. No, make sure to exercise caution when using one click and double click trading as accidental clicks can lead to unwanted orders being placed. Trading account statistics reflect current trading account info. Workspace is the area of the trade page where all your widgets are shown. All trading is performed on your workspaces. The four default widgets are chart, watch list, positions, and orders. You can add or remove any widgets from your workspace. Also, you can move, rearrange, and resize widgets by clicking and dragging them by the borders. So making your deposit. Navigate to the deposit page of your account. Once you're there, you will see that there are currently two deposit options on Prime XBT, direct BTC deposits and alternative deposits. To do the direct BTC deposit from your personal Bitcoin wallet to your Prime XBT wallet, all you have to do is copy your personal Prime XBT wallet address and paste it onto the, into the destination field on the site or wallet service from which you are sending funds or use the provided QR code, as you can see right here. Now, the alternative deposit allows you to buy Bitcoin using a credit card or fiat, fiat currencies via their partner CEX and have it transferred over to your Bitcoin wallet. So to purchase Bitcoin, click buy Bitcoin. Once you click that, it'll bring up the C X widget. Here you just gotta select your currency and the amount that you wish, wish to purchase then you just hit buy. Once you hit buy just go ahead and enter an email address so I'm just going to enter something random select country so I'm in the United States select a state uh, some not all states are able to buy Bitcoin so that's one thing you need to keep in mind then you hit next on the next page you're gonna, this is gonna come up so here you do have to upload a picture of your ID document to cex.io and enter your payment information then click next the third step is you confirm your payment after your payment has been confirmed, you'll receive an email from CEX.io with purchase confirmation and details of your trans transactions such as the TXID and the amount of BTC purchased. Available trading pairs. There are over 50 unique asset markets offered by Prime XBT with up to 1,000 leverage. This includes cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple, CFDs for major stock indices like the S&P 500, the ASX 200, or the DAX 30, the world's most popular forex currency trading pairs across USD, JPY, AUD, and many more, commodities like natural, gra <laughs> natural gas, Brent, and WTI crude oil, and precious metals, gold and silver. The variety provides more opportunities to profit than most other competitors and offered unrivaled portfolio diversification. Right now, traditional markets are especially attractive for traders, making Prime XBT an exceptional value proposition. 
So let's talk about leverage. First of all, here's a disclaimer. Trading with leverage carries a high level of risk. Leverage can work both to your advantage and disadvantage. As a result, trading with leverage is not suitable for all investors. If you're a beginner, you should not be trading with leverage. If you're not a profitable trader without leverage, then you should not be trading with leverage. Leverage just emphasizes your results. If you're a profitable trader, you will be a bigger profitable trader. If you're a losing trader, trader, leverage will make you a bigger losing trader. Leverage or margin lets you open a much bigger position than what you have in your account. You can use up to 100x leverage on a trade when trading cryptocurrencies on Prime XBT. To get more details on how much leverage you can use on each particular asset, you can go to the information section on the top menu. Next, click fees and conditions on the menu on the left. So trading with leverage on Prime XBT is a little bit different than other exchanges like BitMEX and Bybit. So BitMEX and Bybit have used what's called isolated margin and Prime XBT only uses cross margin. So I went ahead and did a little research and got you exact answers from Prime XBT themselves. So this right here is a tweet from someone that was asking the same question that you're probably asking. Um, it says, I'm confused about how you select your leverage on Prime XBT. For example, how can I trade BTC on 10x leverage? It, they replied, uh, someone replied, you can't select, it's automatic based on your trade size. So for example, if I have $100 worth of BTC and I try to open a position worth $1,000, it will automatically use 10x leverage and set the liquidation price appropriately. I'm just used to the way BitMEX works is all. So um, here was the direct answer from Prime XBT. They said, correct, you adjust leverage by adjusting your position size. Liquidation will occur once your available balance becomes less than margin required to maintain position. So that's plus minus total unrealized PL. It's called cross margin versus isolated margin. That is used on some other exchanges. <clears throat> Then uh, someone else asks, so if my position size is 5% of my av available margin, then I am trading at 5x leverage. And Prime XBT replied, that is correct. This is much more simple than manually adjusting leverage for every single position. Also more safe against liquidation because cross margin includes all unrealized profit from other positions into available mar margin. And that's pretty much it guys so I just wanted to go ahead and show you directly from them their answers on how you can control your margin um, because the margin on prime XBT it's n is not like you do it on bitmex which I know a lot of you are probably used to uh, where you do you do isolated margin and you choose what size your margin is um, here it, it's all based on your position size so be careful when entering positions here uh, make sure you pay attention to uh, your sizes very very important making your first trade so first you're gonna need to transfer your funds from your wallet to your trading account on the account summaries page in order to do that, just go up here to this tab where it says account, click it. Now you're going to see here it says wallet and here it says trading account. So I currently don't have any funds in here, but if I did, then this right here would be green and I'd be able to click it where it says fund trading account. What that does is fund your trading account and now this is the money that you can trade with. Once you've done that, to place an order, open the trade section on the top here. In the chart widget, right here on the left corner, you're gonna choose which pair you wanna trade, and you're gonna choose the size of your position. So we're just gonna hit one. Now you're ready to sell or buy, depending if you wanna go short or long. Once you've decided which one you wanna do, just hit it. 
over here order type you can select market you can select limit stop or OCO um, select your amount make sure you have what's which the way you want to go and then you hit place stop loss take profit I always 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 recommend setting this up your stop loss and take profit if you don't know what your stop loss and take profit is you should not be entering a trade let me say it again for those of you in the back if you do not know what your stop loss and take profit is if you do not know where you're, where you're gonna be cutting your trade if it's wrong and taking profit if you're right if you don't know where those two points are do not enter the trade because you're going to fail that is not how you trade but once you have that all set up then you go ahead and hit send order so let's talk a little bit about order types a market order which is the first one here is an order to be executed immediately at first available market price traders use this order type when they have an urgent execution market order is the default choice in order in the order form after you click buy or sell you only need to fill the amount of asset you're willing to buy or sell all right the next one is a limit order limit orders are used to specify a maximum or minimum price the trader is willing to buy or sell at Traders use this order type to improve their entry exit price. However, they do not guarantee execution as there is a chance that the market may, may not reach the limit order level. Limit price must always be lower than the highest ask for buy orders and higher than the lowest bid for sell orders. Please note that the system will warn you if the order is too high or too low. To complete the order, you have to choose the order duration let's click on on the limit so choose the order duration you have two options so you have GTC which means good till canceled and day um, and this the system will show you how many hours remain until the order is canceled if not executed so as you can see there uh, expires at 20 and remains four hours and three minutes so if you set a limit order and you have it set as a day order and in the four hours and three minutes it does not execute that means that your order will be canceled and it will not fill okay um, you can also set up protection orders by checking the tick boxes it will expand from uh, expand the form and allow you to set up a stop loss and take profit price so that's what this is right here Boom, boom, you set that up, bada bim, bada boom, all done. Next is a stop order. A stop order is an order to buy or sell an asset once the price of the stock reaches a specified price known as the stop price. When the stop price is reached, a stop order becomes a market order. Traders use this type of order for two main strategies, a risk management tool to limit losses on existing positions and as an automatic tool to enter the market at a desired entry point without manually waiting for the market to place the order. A buy stop order is always placed above the market and a sell stop order is placed below the market. All right, so as you can see here, stop. And then the last one we have is the OCO or the one cancels other it's a conditional order an OCO order allows you to combine two different orders under special conditions once one of the orders is triggered and executed the second order is automatically cancelled example of an OCO combination of two different orders buy stop order plus sell limit order if either the stop or limit price is reached an order is executed the second order automatically gets canceled all right let me oh it's, is, it, is that this flashing thing is like throwing me off um an OCO order allows you to combine different uh combine different as well as identical order types so you could do a stop stop plus a limit order right so you get the stop plus a limit you could do a stop plus another stop or you could do a limit and a limit so you could do two different orders 
right? You can do two different types of orders. Once one of the orders triggers, then your or your other order is canceled. So for example, if I wanted to um, say buy a dip at 10,600, I would do 10,600. I would set that order up. And then if I wanted to set up a stop in case the price instead of going down to that support shot up beyond its current resistance I would do that boom so now I have my order set at 10,600 if it dips to a uh, support or above let's make sure it's above there, now we could say it above 10,800 in the scene scenario where it doesn't come up it, I mean it doesn't drop down to my desired price and it breaks out instead now I could play both of these uh, strategies together and once one of them triggers the other order will cancel all right so let's jump into what is co-vesting all right so co the co-vesting model or module allows traders to set up and manage a strategy and or follow another trader's strategy a strategy is a pool of traders personal funds which is visible to the public and can be followed by others this provides an excellent opportunity for both experienced successful traders and followers to greatly boost each other's profits potential co-vesting is an excellent opportunity to earn profit for both active traders who wish to manage a strategy as well as for anyone who wishes to earn a passive profit by following successful strategies of other traders as a trader you can create and manage your strategy others can follow your strategy and automat automatically replicate your trades on the market you will then receive a percentage of all profits made by your followers, thus maximizing your profit potential. If you look here, this is the co-vesting page and you can see uh, other traders, their total profit and today's profit, how, how many days they've been active, how many followers they have and how much followers equity they have in their strategy. So you guys are probably wondering what is turbo like what is this thing turbo right so if we go ahead and click it click on the turbo you will see this pop up and i actually rather see these candles versus that i don't know about you guys but i'm more of a these type of candles type of guy um so what this is called this is actually prime xbt turbo it's a simple and user-friendly platform that allows you to earn by predicting short-term price moves of various assets such as Bitcoin, gold, S&P 500, oil, and more. Um, simply, all you have to do is predict the chosen asset's price, what, you know, whether it's going to be higher or lower than its current rate in t the next 10 or 15 minutes. And once you do that, you can earn between 60 to 90% of the amount of your investment. To begin, you choose an asset and the price direction that you want. So let's say Bitcoin, um, we're going to do that money and we're going to predict and see what price is it currently at right now. We're gonna do 10 minutes, it's at seven. We're, we're gonna say um, down, trade with one click. So once you do that, then the confirmation window comes up. It tells you your potential profit is 70% and that's the amount of Bitcoin you would earn back if you're right within the next 10 minutes and hit confirm. As soon as I hit confirm, notice how the market instantly goes against me because they got the notification in their phones, Bitcoin, uh, uh, Bitcoin got the notification everyone with with Bitcoin and it said hey Bitcoin J just bet the down everybody buy and it instantly pumped up so any anytime you guys want me to pump your bags let me know I'll buy in the opposite direction and it will pump up guaranteed guys guaranteed um so um once uh, you choose it you just wait the 10 minutes once you have the order going um, you can see your open positions here. You, 
take a look at your trade history. You see, I did one already, and I lost. <laughs> I didn't get it right. I'm telling you, I don't get the. I don't get these right when I've tried it. Um, you can look at all the trades. You can look at the leaderboards. This guy's earned four Bitcoin doing this. This guy is a legend. Um, and you can change your ID, name, and all that fun stuff. So. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, tell me which way you're going. I'll do the opposite way and you'll see that it will pump like this, just like this. Oh, uh, also, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, there's a demo account. So you guys can use the demo account to play around with it like I am. I'm not just throwing money in here. Um, I, I probably would will never just throw money in here to bet up or down on this. Um, but in case you're interested in this sort of thing, do it with the demo account play around with it see how you do if you're as good as this legend up here then go ahead and do it so last but not least fees and overnight financing so there are two types of fees trade fees and overnight financing fees trade fees is incurred each time you buy or sell assets on the market an example each time you open and close a, a position um, so for cryptocurrencies, the fee is 0.05%. For Forex, 0.001%. For indices and commodities, 0.01%. Overnight financing is due for any position that is carried into a new trading date past 0000 UTC and is withheld from trading account balance. A trading date lasts from 0000 UTC to 2359 UTC. Any position closed before that time will not be charged at all. That is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Uh, it took a, a little bit for us to put this together, so I really hope you guys uh, found this useful and are able to learn and uh, are able to go ahead and start using this platform after uh watching this tutorial if you guys have any other questions drop it below in the comments and i'll be happy to help you guys out thank you very much peace and love as always